A super PAC that was running ads against Bernie Sanders has now stopped doing so. And this whole story can basically be put or, or shown to you in three parts. So let me uh, show you the progression of this entire thing. So here's the initial story that came out. This is weeks ago now or a month ago now or over that. Um, New York Times, pro-Israel Democratic Super PAC to air attack ads against Bernie Sanders. The group, the Democratic Majority for Israel, which is a pro-Israeli apartheid group. I hate how they say pro-Israel. It's not pro-Israel. It's pro-right-wing government uh, of Israel. But we'll begin airing a negative campaign spot on Wednesday as worries mount among moderate Democrats that Mr. Sanders could win the Iowa caucuses, which he did. Shortly after this, was this? Super PAC attacks Sanders in ad. Sanders raises $1.3 million in a day. <laughs> As Bernie Sanders shows strength in the early voting states, his opponents face the challenge. Attacking him can help fuel his campaign. So they put the ads out there. The Bernie Sanders campaign raised money off of them. <laughs> $1.3 million in a day. And then what happens weeks later? This from uh, Holly Otterbein of Politico. Democratic Majority for Israel, which ran attack ads against Bernie Sanders in Iowa and Nevada, said it's not going to air anymore. <laughs> Quote, we don't have plans to be further involved in the presidential race against Sanders or anyone else for that matter. The Bernie Sanders movement destroyed a super PAC, or at least destroyed <laughs> the intention of what the super PAC was going to do to Bernie Sanders because it just completely backfired on them. This is unprecedented <laughs> to have a super PAC like this give up because their ads didn't work and in fact raised more money for the candidate. Can you even think of any other time this has ever happened to anybody? This is uh, like not even just a once in a lifetime candidate, which I've said in the past, but a once in a lifetime movement. Like this is the movement you have to join, a movement of people that want to see Bernie Sanders in the White House and will be able to uh, work with him from outside the White House to put pressure on their politicians, their Congress people, their senators to get the agenda for the people passed. Like, this is totally unprecedented. And we are so close to power. So close to power. Uh, as you saw in my, if you watch my breakdown, uh, or one of my videos on the debate yesterday, where I discussed how all the other candidates uh, are all of a sudden, they think it's perfectly okay to overturn the will of the people. So if you go to the convention and the person and uh, the person that has the most votes, so uh, I'm saying this incorrectly. There was a question from Chuck Todd to the candidates at the debate saying that should the person with the most votes at the convention be the nominee? Bernie Sanders was the only one that said yes. Everybody else was for overturning the will of the people. Which also really, I mean, it also really shows you which candidate actually cares about people and which doesn't. You have one candidate in Bernie Sanders who actually trusts the will of the people, trusts the vote of the people to choose the nominee. And then you have the other five candidates on stage saying, no, party elites should choose the nominee. And that acknowledgement, them, them saying that out loud is basically them acknowledging that they aren't going to, going to be the ones that have the most votes at the nomination or, or at the convention. So this is why I'm saying we are so close to power. Bernie is so close to power because you now have, whether it's the candidates on stage or cable news now acknowledging that actually, yeah, we're not for democracy because it appears when we actually have democracy, well, I'm going to lose. So because of that, I choose, I want the party at least to choose the nominee, but it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And it, if, as I said in those videos, if they actually steal the nomination, I don't think they will. But if they actually steal the nomination, I will, I will tell people not to vote. My focus will be on activism. You have to send a message. You can't just let the party roll over you. Like you can't. There is no way. There is no way we will let that happen. And it's not just me. I saw Kyle Kalinske. He has he has the, the exact same take. Other progressive YouTubers, other people that with larger audience than I have, are saying the same thing. That if they steal the nomination away from Sanders when he has the most votes, that we're going to tell people not to vote and you have to be active. You have to be, I mean, you have to be at the convention protesting. Let's not get to that. 
because I don't think it's going to happen. And there's actually a really good shot that Bernie Sanders can actually uh, win a majority of delegates, of pledged delegates, not even just a plurality, but a majority. So if he wins a majority of pledged delegates by the convention, they can't do anything to him. He has a nomination.